Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for My Hero Academia, Chapter 253, and oh boy, uh, we got quite a chapter to discuss here, this, to discuss here tonight, um, so before anything else, I have to talk about the cover page, because, like, okay, I, I doubt Hodokoshi would basically get that exaggerated, but just looking at that cover page with Ido on it, I wouldn't mind if this is Horikoshi's way of teasing us towards Ida's quirk developing and and getting and getting much stronger. Uh, uh, that, that is of course that is of course assuming in, in some way he already hasn't developed his his quirk because. But in either way, fingers crossed because 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 on, on top of on top of that little that little bit of amazingness of a of a cover page we, we pretty much also get the we also get a little bit of a small reveal here that over the course of in, his internship Ida was placed in a leadership role and I'm and between these and between and and that in itself just opens so many doors in in order in order for Ida to be like in order for Ida to be in the spotlight again and gain some kind of a in the spotlight again, because it's in general, it's honestly been a while. It's been a while since we've like like gotten any kind of like real genuine focus on Ida, and again with, with that small info drop of him of him like being placed in a leadership role during his like during his um during his uh, during his internship that. That that in itself already opens a lot of doors. I would I would like explored, um, but uh, but yeah, and and hope and hopefully and hopefully they eat, they pretty much either lead to us us getting a full glimpse as to what he learned over his internship or what he or, or what he has has yet to develop. But in either way, yeah, I I, I want my spotlight on Ada. I, I I need that bad right now. Um, now. Oh boy, we need to jump ahead, and we need to jump ahead and just get right into the that ending. And the thing is, I'm not. I mean, I was using manga manga stream, so I assume the the translation is accurate enough. But but we get a granddaddy of a reveal, or just general possibility that Kurogiri could in fact be Aizawa's old classmate, Obara Sh Oboro. Shirakumo, and or or at the very least he or at the very least he was created from Oboro, and as crazy as that in that in itself is, there's actually a little bit of extra of of extra narrative genius genius to this reveal, and in case Horikoshi, in case Horikoshi decides not to completely rehash the backstory, let me explain. Obviously, obviously, even before this major reveal, we've gotten little flashbacks here and there of of Obero's existence and influence on Aizawa and, and and of on Aizawa and 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 Mike, but so it connects in that small way. But 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 here's the other way it connects. Off and on, I've been reading My Hero Academia Vigilantes, a series that. Everyone knows about, but I don't know how many have actually read. And it's a series that Horikoshi doesn't have much direct involvement in, outside of being a supervisor. Yet, despite that, what he's done here is actually incorporate a plot point from the spinoff, in in this case, Obero's death, into the main series. And again, that that shouldn't be surprising, I guess, since it was it was already heavily teased in, in the main. It was heavily teased already in the main series, but. Yeah, this is this is a case where he's basically where you could say that what Horikoshi is doing here is he's creating an extended superhero universe in manga form and making him even more like like DC and Marvel and whatnot. Although I guess you could argue argue he's in some ways doing it better than DC and Marvel nowadays. Um, and 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 the thing is here, in case we don't get it. Like and this is kind of one of those things where I'm actually kind of making a recommendation here. Um, in in the event where we don't get a full blown like backstory reveal here, I really recommend everyone go 
like everyone go read the spinoff just for the full details on on that backstory and 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 Obero's death because it, it will give because it will give you like more context and a better grasp on just how haunting on just how haunting th th this premise reveal is is to Aizawa. A again to any of those who haven't read Red Vigilante th this is one of those times where I I, I do recommend it cuz it is it, it is a very interesting narr it is a very interesting like, like connective narrative drop in that sense the connective narrative like bomb drop in that in in this particular sense and yeah, like I, I, I guess it again. It's it shouldn't be. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. But it's like one of those things where I cannot believe Horikoshi just did that too. Like wow. Um, the other thing to take away from this reveal is that it changes the in. It changes quite a bit of the dynamic of what. It changes a bit of the dynamic of what we thought previously and of how high end. Of how high end isn't actually the first like sentient Nomu. Like when 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 we first got high end, like we were suddenly all shocked that he that he talked and whatnot. But 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 now with this reveal, we we were pretty much introduced to the first sentient Nomu this entire time with Kurugiri. Like it's been like Kurugiri this entire time has been as like. The first sentient Nomu, pretty much. It, at least if at least if that's the way I'm understanding it, I think like like like, like again the, the, the I like just just in the way the translation was, it sounds like the, the, they're very heavily like leaning into that that Kurogiri is this entire time has been like the first sentient Nomu we we were ever introduced into the series, and it is a bit of it is a bit of clever misdirection on Horikoshi's part because we just. We just assumed his appearance was was a natural part of his quirk, but when when you see how many, but looking at it object, but really looking at it, if if you think of how many shapes and forms uh, of how many shapes and forms a, a Prince Nomu can take, and how many different varieties of Nomu there are, it's not hard to believe either that that, that Kurogiri is a Nomu. But of course, the bigger question here is how much of Obero. Is actually left in Kurugiri, despite him, d d despite him being you. How much of Obero is left in Kur in Kurugiri, despite Obero himself being used as the base? And whatever the case may be, this is sure to spark some interesting conversation. And yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want next week's chapter like now, j just to see how that plays out. Because yeah, like, like. You can tell that 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 the present Mike and Izawa right now, they're fighting some demons. Like j j just their facial expressions alone, Izawa's especially. Like you can tell just from this one reveal alone, he's um he's he's definitely fighting some demons for sure. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's um how. How this whole conversation between Aizawa and Kurogiri, Kurogiri slash Oboro goes beyond this point? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking. I'm honestly not. I'm honestly not, not envying to be. I'm not envying uh, Aizawa's current situation right now, like at all. Like, it's. What would you even do? Like seriously, what would if you were in Aizawa's situation? What would you even do? Like really, you're you're facing down, you're facing down, like supposedly someone you you thought was dead, but turns out is kind of alive. I guess like it's it's such an odd situ it's such an odd situation. <laughs> um, getting away from the seriousness, serious and dramatic sit part of the situation though, we f we we. Another thing to talk about, of course, is 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 the much lighter stuff in this chapter because it was it was placed it was placed because obviously, like I said, a majority of that stuff with Kurogiri and Aizawa and Mike it all happened at the end of the chapter. But getting away from the serious now, though, we 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 also get a nice little bit of Oshiko in this cha Oshiko and the other students in this chapter is as, as well as well starting and starting and with Oshiko we're 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 starting to. 
we're starting to see her having... We start by see her having upgraded her costume in a rather clever way, because the, 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 the thing with her costume is by making her costume heavier, she can actually land a stronger, stronger hit to her enemies, even if she uses her quirk to make it lighter on herself. And, and we also get a bit of a... And to top it off that, we also get a bit of fluffiness with her as well by expanding on her little school little schoolgirl crush on Izuku, which at this point I think we can assume has has definitely for her has definitely blossomed into a full blown romance, even though neither of them has really made a move. And like an official move, I guess you could say. And <sighs> And, and and but it's still in like the smallest of touches. Like like we like we see she she's pretty much kept Izuku's gift as a good luck charm. And I like how one thing I really like with Ochiko in this chapter is how with that panel of her saying she's pretty much keeping her feelings locked away for now shows that for as weird as not and as nonsensical as it might seem to us. The best way for her to show how much she actually cares about Izuku is to keep pushing forward with her goal. While, 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 while he pretty much does the same for his, and like it's weird to say, but that is how that that that, that pretty much is 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 their kind of language of love and and how 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 they pretty much show their their pretty much affection for each other is just by is just by ad advancing forward and and continuing with their with. With with their goals, I guess you could say it's it's kind of their like weird, weird high school ro weird romance, I guess you could say, um, and <laughs> yeah, I think and I think it's more safe to assume Horikoshi's created Ashido to represent us as the readers slash the shippers, because like honestly, that that's exactly what she is. She is. She's, that's exactly what she is and what she was doing in this chapter. She was shipping. Oh, she's been shipping Ochiko and. She's been shipping Ochiko and Izuku from like day one, and she, she's only gotten honestly. She, she, she's pretty much only gotten only gotten worse as a shipper, as 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 the resident shipper of UA High. Like holy crap. <laughs> um, and okay, um, one one thing to talk about with, with on Izuku's end of things is that we basically see him talk. We see him talk with his. With, with the other students, with with his with his fellow classmates, like the, his other like male classmates, obviously, about how he's uh, and about his accomplishment of like semi mastering his new power, uh, and even though it was played up for laughs, with with Bakugo basically like pretty much like piercing him with 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 with, with his with that head with his headpiece, piercing Izuku with his headpiece, <clears throat> this does kind. Of, the the fact that Izuku has kind of semi mastered this power now does beg the question of what new power is going to pop up next. Because you know, like, and and when and when whatever new power does pop up next, you know it's just a matter of time. The, you know it's just it's it's really just one of those things where it's going to he's going to have to repeat this process again of like of this new power popping up and him having to master it. And when and when this new power does show itself, it's it's really going to be like a tipping point where it's going to become harder and harder in order to keep the secret of one for all from his classmates. I mean, or at best, Ida, Ochiko, and Todoroki, because I'm I'm more than convinced these three are going to be the next ones in order to learn Izuku's secret. But it's again, it's really just a matter of when. Um, but, and, and, and yeah, the, and yeah, the, the more quirks that pop up, the, the har again, the harder it's going to be in order for him to keep that secret, so, it's really just a matter of when that tipping point comes, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's my review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Lister Crunchyroll. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.